just got a Bamboo Lab H2D? Well, stop scrolling, because these are the 10 smartest prints you need to supercharge your setup. They're free, they're fast, and they'll make your printer run like a dream. Welcome back to Directed Tech. My name is Rick, and I am glad that you are back. So, you've got your hands on the Bamboo Lab H2D. First off, congrats. Second, it's time to supercharge this amazing machine. I've pulled together 10 must-print models that'll instantly upgrade your H2D experience from organizers to tool hacks to must-have additions for the AMS 2 Pro. All of these models are free on Maker World. I'll put the links down in the video description, so please take a look below for that info and more. Now, let's jump into our first model. Oh wait, make sure you stick around because there's one evil bonus model at the end that will suck you into a rabbit hole of glorious, gridlocked productivity. Now, let's go. Model number one, the H2D Poop Shoot by Cubify. Direct your purge filament right where it belongs with this essential chute that guides the filament off of the print bed and in to your bin. Why print it? No more spaghetti piles. It's the first mod every H2D user should print. Number two, the H2D Toolbox, which is Print in Place by Martin Langle Design. This toolbox is a slick print in place toolbox designed for your H2D workstation with no assembly so you have no excuses. Why print it? It has a lift out nozzle tray, a precise fit, and prints like magic. Add it to your setup and keep your tools right where you need them. Now, before we get too far down this list, I want to take a minute to give a shout out for the sponsor of today's video. PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for turning ideas into reality. If you're into 3D printing, electronics, or rapid prototyping, PCBWay has something seriously cool to offer. Not only do they specialize in high-quality PCB fabrication and assembly, but they also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, and injection molding, all in one place. You can even order custom parts for your electronic projects like enclosures or mechanical components and get them machined or printed with precision. Their instant quoting system makes it super easy to upload your files, pick materials, and get a price fast. Plus, their community project sharing platform lets you browse and download open source designs from fellow makers. Check out PCBWay.com and bring your next project to life. Number three is the Bamboo Scraper by Bamboo Lab. This ergonomic grip transforms the included blade and screw kit into something way more comfortable and safe. Why print it? Well, better grip equals less slipping and fewer gouges in your print bed or your thumb. Not to mention that slivers of plastic under your fingernails hurt like a son of a gun. And our number four must print item is the H2D build plate holder by Matt underscore WRS. Here we have a vertical plate rack that keeps your smooth and textured plate separated, safe and scratch free. Why print it? You spend good money on these build plates, so treat them like royalty with this space saving add on. Item number five is the dry pod system by Makers Jess. This is a sleek modular dry pod system for the AMS2 Pro users. It includes five front pods that fit perfectly in the new AMS2 Pro with options for a hygrometer. The included funnel slides right onto each pod for a mess-free desiccant fill-up. Why print it? No more gummy, moisture-soaked filament. Keeps things dry, tight, and tuned. The number six item is the rear dry pod by Maker Jess also. This will also go into your AMS2 Pro. This is to pair with your moisture-busting pods in the front. Here is one rear pod that also fits perfectly into the AMS2 Pro. Now you can use the funnel from the first system, but it does come with a print file for a funnel that fits the entire thing as well as the lid. I haven't quite printed those yet, 
but this is going to easily replace these packets that are included with your AMS2 Pro. So you can get rid of those, and this is going to slide right in the back here and fit quite nicely. Why print it? If five desiccant pods are good, then six are even better. Number seven is the filament clip for bamboo spools by 123 Cut. Just look at this quick clip solution that snaps onto the bamboo spools to keep filament ends from escaping and causing chaos. These are nice to have on hand to quickly set up on your bamboo filaments for a drying cycle without bending the filament through the side holes which might cause feeding issues if not clipped before use. Why print it? It's a small thing until you don't have it. Then it's a really big thing. Number eight is a PTF tube removal tool by Adivore. This is a nifty little lever that pops your PTFE tube out cleanly. No more cracked push fits or even worse, cracked fingernails. Why print it? If you venture into printing TPU, you'll need to modify the filament feed path by removing the PTFE tube from the right nozzle and move it to the TPU filament inlet. Item number nine is the Cell Spool Winder by Sergei I. Hope I got that right. Transfer problematic cardboard spools onto reliable plastic spools by rewinding them onto empties. No power needed, just pure mechanical goodness. The Bamboo Lab AMS2 Pro has these wonderful little tabs here that really don't get along with bent cardboard spools. If you're having feed and retraction problems with your cardboard spools, this could be the issue and you'll want to get your precious filament onto another spool ASAP. Why print it? For filament neat freaks and budget nerds alike, it's satisfying and practical. Number 10 is the AMS2 Pro Funnel Saver by Yeltrick Designs. The funnel saver protects the feed funnel from premature wear and replacement and snaps on securely using a wraparound design. This design will not come off during a print like some other feeder solutions. Yes, the AMS2 Pro does have ceramic reinforced funnels, but I found this note from the creator to be especially intriguing. The entire feeder funnel is not ceramic, nor is the portion that is ceramic solid ceramic. Just the small vertical portion at the end of the funnel is ceramic reinforced. So the funnel portion leading to the ceramic reinforced portion is vulnerable to premature wear, just like the original AMS. Why print it? Future-proof your AMS before it becomes a sad, saggy, filament funnel. For the small amount of filament and the print time, these feeder savers mitigate the risk of premature feeder funnel wear, cost, and the downtime in replacing them. Okay, what did you think about that list? What was the first thing you printed on your H2D? Or if you don't have one, what do you think your first print will be? Please let me know in the comments below. Or if you think I missed a really great print that adds tons of functionality to or fun to the H2D, or any 3D printer, again, please comment below. Now, while the aforementioned list of printable items might not be everyone's cup of tea, I wanted to leave you all with my evil bonus item. Why do I call it an evil bonus? Well, if you haven't already fallen down the absolute rabbit hole that is Zach Friedman's Gridfinity system, then boy do I have a treat for you. Let me just show you how wonderfully useful this system is. Evil bonus, GRIPS, Gridfinity Interlocking Base Plate System by Too Many Things. The base plate that will consume your weekends. Gridfinity compatible, stackable, and highly addictive. I tried several Gridfinity base plate options, but if you want to organize your drawers, then this system here is the one that I recommend, since you probably don't need magnet, screw, or any other mounting holes. The customization option integrated into Maker World will allow you to design and customize a size to fit whatever you need. Once you have the base plate down, there are literally hundreds of Gridfinity bins, boxes, or other creative organization devices to suit your every need. Just look at how much neater my desk drawers are after my addiction, <laughs> I mean discovery, of the Gridfinity system. Why print it? Because once you start organizing with grips, you won't stop. You'll grid your bits. You'll grid your bolts. You'll grid your soul. There they are. 10 must print models, 
plus one bonus trap from which there is no escape. All perfect companions for your Bamboo Lab H2D. If you enjoyed this little top 10 list and found some value in it, then please take a moment to hit that like button if your print queue just got a whole lot longer and drop a comment and tell me which model you're firing up first. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you'd do that as well. As always, I enjoy the time that we get to spend here together on the channel, and let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.